Welcome everybody to our dice poker project. Um, we are going to learn how to use arrays to store die rolls for a poker hand and then evaluate those rolls in the array. So let's get started by creating a die class in this video. All right, so we're going to say public class die. Open and close curly braces. And then we'll need, um, I'll, we're going to set the dice faces to six. Most, uh, most dice in a poker game have, I mean, most dice have six faces. There are other number sided dice like 4, 12, and 20 in some games, but we're going to stick with a six um, sided dice. So we're going to say protected. static, final, int, max, and we're going to set it to 6. Protected is used as a scope when we want it, when we have a number of different classes that need to see each other. When we have private variables, then only that class can only be accessed through the getters and setters. When we have protected scope, other classes can see the variables in this die class. And then we'll need one that says private int face value. And that's going to hold um, what we roll, like 6, 3, or 2. And we need a constructor. Let's put our comments in. Fields, constructors, and methods. So to make a constructor, we'll say public die. And then we just want to, um, when we create our die, we're just going to go ahead and roll it right away. So we'll call the roll die method in our constructor. You could also set the die to a particular value like one before you roll it and then we need our um, getters and setters so we'll say public int get face value and we'll return face value public void set face value and we want to pass in an integer value to set it to and then we'll just say face value is equal to value Then we need a method to actually roll our die. So we'll say public int roll die. And we can go ahead and use the math library. So we'll say face value is equal to int math.random and then we want to times it by the number of chances which is 6 or the max and we'll add 1 because we, all, we want a result between 1 and 6 instead of 0 and 5 and then we just need to return the face value All right, and then lastly for this class, we're going to need a two-string method, um, and we want to get the um, string of the face value. So we're going to have to say string result is equal to integer dot two-string face value, and then we want to return the result.
And so we'll use the integer wrapper class to get um, an, a string, and we'll use the toString method in that wrapper class to get a string of the face value. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to save it as a die class. Okay, so now we want to do a runner to check out our die. So let's say new class. And then we're going to say public um, uh, public class dice poker um, and we'll just name the runner the name of the game and then we want to put in our main method so let's say public static void main string arcs we want to create an instance of the die so let's say die die one is equal to new die and then we can roll that die so we'll say die one dot roll die and then we want to print that out so we can do this a couple of ways and say system dot out dot print ln die die one dot two string okay so we'll compile see if we have any errors semicolon I'm missing there all right and now we can run it and you can see that we run it once and we get four for our result and then three and you should test keep running it to test it to make sure that you're getting each value so I'm still missing a five or a one there's a five and there's a one so this die class is working the way that we want it to. We can also um, test out other, you can also test out your getters and setters if you want to. All right, so that's the end of this video for creating the die class for our die poker. And next, in the next video, we'll create a hand, a poker hand using uh, our single die, which will roll five times to create a poker hand. See you next time.